Hello artists, I am the art teacher at Thurgood Marshall Elementary School. I want you to know that all of us teachers, we miss you. We think about you, we wonder about you. Um, we can't wait to see you again and hear about how your life has been. And in the meantime, we can make art. So today I'm gonna to teach you about line. We're going to think about line. We are going to practice line. And then we are going to make art with, guess what? Line. I love line. No, I really do. I love line. You'll see. Let's think about art. For materials, you will need a pencil or pen and a piece of paper. You might want to use crayons, markers, or colored pencils, if you have them. That's a bonus, but you don't need them. I'll also show you how to use scissors, glue, and colored paper, if you happen to have those around as well. In art, we have different types of line that we can use. Straight, zigzag, curly, wavy, curved, short, thick, thin. I'm going to teach you my line song. It also has a dance that goes with it, but let's learn the song first. So I will sing first and then you will copy me. Thin and thick lines. Zigzag two. Bumpy, straight and curly. Wavy, curved and swirly. Lines are fun. Now let's try that with the dance. Thin and thick lines, thin and thick lines, zigzag two, zigzag two, bumpy, straight and curly, wavy, curved and swirly. Lines are fun, lines are fun. Now it's your turn to dance with me. Thin and thick lines, thin and thick lines, zigzag two, zigzag two, bumpy, straight and curly, wavy, curved and swirly. Lines are fun, lines are fun. Let's make art. Now I will show you some ideas that you can use in your project. Then it will be your turn to make art. We are going to make a fish line drawing. I can use either colored paper or white paper, depending on what I have around. To start, I'm going to need to do the fish body. So to do a fish body, I want it to be big, kind of like my paper. I'll just draw around my hand, maybe about the size of my hand. That will give me a fish body. And maybe I'm gonna go back and make it a little bit darker. All right, that's my fish body. Then I need to add a tail fin, which is kind of a triangle shape. The next thing I will add is eyes. My fish also needs a mouth so he can eat. And fish sometimes have what looks like, kind of like a backward C, like that. That's sometimes what fish lips look like. Sometimes they're just a straight line. All right, the next thing my fish needs, he needs to be able to breathe. And the way that fish breathe is with gills. I'm going to draw in a gill, which is a curved line, back usually somewhere behind the eyeball. So let's say maybe actually more like here. Some fish have one gill on each side and some have more than one. Next, I need to add a dorsal fin, which is on the top. Some fish have a second dorsal fin closer to the tail. Dorsal fins can be a lot of different shapes. You could draw it as a triangle. You could draw it as a rectangle. On the sides of their bodies, they have a pectoral fin on each side, right behind the gills. On the bottom, they have two fins down by their belly, one for each side. These are called the pelvic fins. And back by the tail, they have what are called anal fins, and there's usually two of them. Okay, so here's my fish. That's step one. 
In step two, I will add lines to my fish. I can add a straight line. I can add a curvy line. I can add a curly line, a wavy line, a zigzag line. A broken line. A bumpy line. A swirly line. Curved lines. Lines with loops. If there's one thing I know for sure, it's that a fish needs water. So I will draw water lines around my fish. What kind of lines do you see in water? If I'm using scissors and glue, there's another way I can make water for my fish. By drawing the lines on another piece of paper, and then later I'll cut out my fish and glue it onto the water. I'm adding lines on top of lines on top of lines. I want my page filled with different kinds of lines. This one I can lay on its side to make lines. That way I can make thick lines. Is this water ready for my fish? I think so. And if you have scissors, you can cut out your fish. Here's a tip for our kindergarten artists. My thumb is facing up. I'm opening the alligator mouth and closing. Opening the alligator and closing. Now when I get to a curve, I'm going to turn my paper. Open, close. See how my paper's turning? Now it's your turn. Remember, you can use colored paper, scissors and glue, or you can just use white paper with a pencil. Okay, now get to work.